Good day everyone, welcome sa ating panibagong video And for today, we're going to have more examples about uh, polynomial function For this activity, we're going to uh, For each of the following functions, we're going to give letter A The x intercepts Letter B, the intervals obtained when the x intercepts are used to partition the number line Letter C, the table of signs. And letter D, a possible sketch of the graph. So we will answer, we'll give the answers one by one. So, tanda natin ng x intercept, intervals, table of signs, and sketch the graph. Okay, number one. one. Y is equal to the quantity of 2x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 4. So, proceed tayo dito sa block sheet. Okay, dito. Dito tayo sa sagot. Okay. So, we have, uh, for number 1, I write the, para nga rin makaano, sinulat ko na lang sa notebook yung, Number 1, the given is y is equal to 2x plus 3 tapos x minus 1 x minus 4 y is equal to 2x plus 3 x minus 1 x minus 4 double check natin 2x plus 3 x minus 1 x minus 4 so first one is we're going to find the x intercepts the third A we're going to find the x intercepts so the x intercepts since our given is in factored form so, na factored form na siya so it's very easy for us to find the x-intercept kasi nasa factored form na siya hindi siya nasa standard form nasa factored form so ano yung nasabi sa x-intercept we're going to set we're going to set y is equal to 0 so, pwedeng ito, gawin na natin siyang uh, 0 na natin siya is equal to 2x plus 3. Pwede man i-diretso na natin 0 dito. Di ba yung sa, sa example natin sa previous, yung binigay ng libro, uh, y pa dito. Actually, pwede naman natin gawing 0 na kaagad here. Kasi doon naman din tayo papunta. So, x minus 1 x plus 4 as you can see um, each factors are equated to 0 so pwede na natin i-separate um, i each factor so ito siya pwede naman interchange uh, para convenient tayo yung 0 na lang ilagay natin sa right side so it will become 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 don't be confused sir bakit nandito na yung 0 uh, same lang yan kasi equal side Ibig sabihin, kahit saan yan sila ma na place na, na side pareha lang yun ang meaning yan kasi uh, because the equal side next one is x minus 1 is equal to 0 and the last one is x minus 4 is equal to 0 First one, we have 2x is equal to negative 3. Divide both sides by 2. And the first intercept is negative 3 halves. A uh, 3 half. 3 over 2. The second one is x is equal to 1. And the last one is x is equal to 4. So, meaning, our x-intercepts x-intercepts are 
negative 3 halves 1 and 4 Okay, next is the letter B is we're going to show the intervals obtained when the x-intercepts are used to partition the number line. Letter B, interval. So, gagawa tayo ng first is gagawa tayo ng number line. Assuming that this is a perfect line. So, this is a number line. So, start tayo sa leftmost. So, dito, mauna ang negative 3 halves. Tama? Ito yung pinakamaliit na numbers among the 3. 3 halves. Tapos, palagay natin dito yung 1. Tapos, dito yung 4. So, ito yung mga intervals natin. Yan, dito. Yan, the other one. And the other one another one, and the last one ito. So, ilang intervals meron tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are uh, 4 intervals. Next is letter C, the table of signs. So, dito na. Apply na natin dito yung uh, yung natutunan natin about the table of signs. So, dito, ano natin na? Dito yung, ito yung intervals. 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 Tapos, dito yung um, test value. Test value. So, ilang intervals ba tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, i-partition natin ito. Divide natin ito 4. After that, um, under the test value, we are going to write the factors. Ilang factors meron tayo? 1, 2, 3, 3. Tapos, after that, we are going to write the function, the whole function. So, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Four, ito yung function after that meron pang dalawang line and ilalagay natin dito yung sign and the position of the graph relative to the x axis so this one the first factor is we have 2x plus 3 2x plus 3, we have x minus 1, x minus 4, and sa baba, yung given, you're going to write the given here, y is equal to, ano, yung given ha, you write here the given, and hindi mo magkasya yun. So, ang lalagay dyan is y is equal to the quantity of 2x plus 3, x minus 1, times x minus 4. So, given. Right? Just in this, um, in this um, box. Say the box. Okay, first, we're going to identify the intervals. So, the, in the first interval is, yung x natin is less than negative 3 over 2. So, x is less than negative 3 over 2. Next naman is yung x natin is between negative 3 over 2 and 1. So, x is between negative 3 over 2 and 1. Next interval, itong dalawa 
x is between 1 and 4. And the last interval we have is ito, papunta dun sa positive. So, x is greater than 4. So, these are the intervals. And we will identify values para sa ating uh, pag-test ng sign. Identify natin values. Uh, numbers which are less than negative 3 halves. So, pwedeng negative 3 halves is negative 1.5, diba? So, pwedeng negative 2. Dito. Dito, between negative 3 halves and 1. So, mas convenient. Pag ganito yung case, pag may ma-include yung 0 sa, sa interval, it is very convenient na isali natin si 0 kasi madali lang isolve pag 0 yung given. Um, numbers between 1 and 4, pwedeng 2. Greater than 4, pwede siya 5. Okay, so, we will test each value sa ating factor. So, when x is equal to negative 2, so negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 3, negative 1. So, the sign here is negative. How about this one? Negative 2 minus 1, negative 3, negative. Negative 2 minus 4, negative 6, negative. So, the sign, overall, overall sign here, mo-multiply na lang natin siya. So, negative times negative, positive times negative, negative. Um, dito yung position. Position of the graph relative to the x-axis. So, sobra pala tayo ng uh, i-raise na lang natin itong sa baba. Anyway, i-raise natin ito para medyo malinis yung ating um, assuming lang na straight yung mga ano natin dito ha kasi I'm using illustrator kaya hindi masyado siya straight yung ating line okay yan okay next one is when x is equal to 0 so, when x is equal to 0, so 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3, 3. So, positive. 0 naman dito, 0 minus 1 is negative. 1, negative. 0 minus 4, negative 4, negative. So, the sign is positive times negative, negative times negative, positive. Okay, number 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3, 7. So, positive. 2 minus 1 is 1. Positive. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So, negative. So, the sign is positive. Positive, positive times negative. Negative. The last number is 5. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3, 13. So, positive. 5 minus 1 is 4. Positive. 5 minus 4 is 1, positive. Then, positive, all positive. So, therefore, the sign of the function is positive. So, we will describe the, uh, the position of the graph relative to the x-axis. So, negative siya so below. This is below the, the x-axis. The x below, this is above. This is uh, this is below. 
indices above. Okay, C, and we are ready now to sketch the graph, the possible graph. So, sketch natin yung possible graph natin. So, take for instance, ito yung x and y um, axis natin. So, pwede i-plot uh, muna natin yung mga intercepts natin, x-intercepts. The first x-intercepts is negative 3 over 2. Next one is 1, 1 tapos 4. Uh, 1, 4, 1, 4. By the way, um, identify daw natin yung y-intercept. Madali lang naman din ang y-intercept. Isiset lang natin yung x natin is equal to 0. So, palag, uh, halimbawa dito yung ating y-intercept. So, y-intercept natin is y is equal to, set lang natin lahat ng x equal to 0. No? So, 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 4. So, we have 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3, 3. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And 0 minus 4 is negative 4. 3 times negative 1, negative 3 times negative 4, 12. So, our y-intercept is 12. Ito yung y intercept. So, mag intercept yung ating graph when y is equal to 12. So, that is 0, 12. So, ating graph, the first is below. Below. Ito. So, dadaan siya dito na point sa negative 3 over 2. Tapos, tatawid siya dito sa y-intercept uh, natin. Palagay natin dito yung 12. Tatawid siya dyan. Tapos, below na naman. Below ba? O, above, tapos below. Start sa below, tapos above. Then, below. Below the x-axis, below. Then, above. So, ito yung ating magiging graph. This is the possible graph of our polynomial function. Okay, um, there is one application we're going to use para medyo maganda yung ating graph. So, I'm going to present to you one of the application na pwede yung i-download sa inyong mga mobile phones or mobile, mga tablets or even pwede nyo gamitin yung laptop or personal computer ninyo so um, now I'm using uh, my personal computer pero tinry ko sa google google store so meron siya pati sa app, app, app store merong application na ito na pwede nyo gamitin para ma, ma double check ninyo para ma verify nyo yung graph ninyo if tama ba siya yung hindi so this is called the uh, this is called the Desmos app, the desmos.com slash computer. So, dito, ikikiin lang natin yung function para malaman natin yung uh, possible, uh, yung graph, yung graph niya mismo, yung not the possible graph, kasi this is a perfect graph. So, tingnan natin ha, yung given, isusulat na lang natin yung given. So, we have, the given is y, is equal to equal to the quantity of 2 x plus sign plus sign plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 x minus 1 
times x minus 4 minus 4 so let's look at the graph Okay, okay. Ito yung graph niya. So, palitin natin ng graph. So, as you can see, it crosses. Ano, saan siya nag-cross? It crosses dito. Dito yung negative 3 over 2. Diba dito yung negative 3 over 2. It also crosses 1 here. And of course, yung 4. So, tingnan natin sa taas. That's uh, kung saan siya nag dumaan sa ating y-axis kung sa 12 ba siya dumaan or nag-cross so it crosses it crosses dito, so dito siya dumaan so it it intercepts intersects the y axis at point zero twelve. So dito. So ito yung graph niya. So this graph is the graph of the polynomial equation a uh, function y is equal to two x plus three times x minus one times x minus four. So yun yung kanyang graph. Okay, so you can download um, the Desmos para ma-check, double-check nyo, ma-verify nyo yung graph ninyo if tama ba siya or may something wrong with your answer. So, kung wala, wala kayong ano, hindi kayo maka-download, pwede naman din kasi you can use naman the table of signs. Kasi ang kailangan lang man natin is yung possible graph. Yung itsura nyo, not the perfect one, but the possible graph. So, yan siya. So, pwede na yung i-download. You can download that one. Okay, let's proceed.